least this man can do is buy something to eat. You saying I ain't done nothing? Say, sir. What's up? How are you? She's a little louder than normal, huh? Yeah. What you done done? I've been working about four hours already today. You know, last time we had that, we won H-Town. Um, we got a race this weekend, Battle of the Bears, and possibly it's 10,000 to win. So possibly on how it, how I can make it work, I may put it in small tire. I'm just gonna see. Um, how it acts, but uh, I took the exhaust off. It's got, I didn't do it so much for power, but it's got three and a half stainless all the way out the back. So we took it off, but wait a while, it was 89 pounds of exhaust. So, um, good bit of weight. <laughs> I'm gonna put it right back on. I don't, I like it with the exhaust, but I figured I could lose a little weight. I have no clue. I'm thinking about taking the, the seat out and putting a couple of race seats in it for the weekend. Just, I mean, what do you think that seat weighs? That seat's gotta be 70, 80 pounds, 100 pounds. It's definitely gotta be heavy. So I, I can probably lose, you know, possibly a couple of hundred pounds. Um, just off of a seat, some exhaust. Yeah, and I'm, I'll take the back seat out. I mean, it's just for the for this race. If it'll help me get lighter and have a possibility to win $10,000, it's dumb not to do it. We, uh, I made a bunch of changes shock changes on the black truck yesterday. I have sold that truck to Blake now. So we test last night, 60 footed better than it's been, but we still had a prep converter in it. So converter's just too tight. So he's supposed to be on his way. Let me try to call him. Marley, what you whining about, baby? What you whining about? Never on time. Are you still sleeping? You in the gym? I mean, what's the problem? You said eight o'clock, I'll be there. I said you eight o'clock and you said no, nah, that was too early. You said you we are don't leave in an hour. Uh uh, you said we don't leave in an hour or two to change the converter. Not so that. that meant I can get up and go over to the gym. I just come through Holly Springs, sir. Well, I figured I was gonna let you do all the work so it'd take a little longer. So you probably had to start need to start at eight. Oh, I already knew I was gonna have to do it all. Man, I do all the work constantly. How much? How much did I help the? How much did I help it yesterday? That I've been telling you we need to do for a long time. You know what? I can't even argue about that right now. I'm, I'm, I'm just really, really, really surprised from yesterday. Yeah, you're gonna have to beg Brandon to make your computer hook to the truck because you're not using mine. You're not gonna use my computer and my motor both to whoop me. Ah, uh, okay. Well, um. Let's see what's going on. So I done took all the exhaust off a little scrappy and put used tires from you on here. So in other words, you done gutted, gutted a street car and made it a race car. I don't know. I'm trying to determine if I want to pull a bench seat out of it or not. Well, look. Oh, that mercy. Look, sir. Still ass in gear. I'm waiting on you so we can get this done because I want to eat somewhere good for lunch today. Did you even bring any help with you? No, uh, you know, we for don't get up this early. Lord have mercy. All right, well, come on. We'll see you. Hurry up. All right, I'll see you. All right, man. It's dude right here. I'm already, it's, it's 8.30 and I've did everything I gotta do. I can, I can drive mine and go out to eat for lunch today. Yeah, I got a, my other Chevy too. I just bought another one because I said this is gonna be a little scrappy's last stand this weekend. I'm gonna start racing a new car next year. So uh, I may go, race with Malcolm in a week or two. I told him I probably would come. But I gotta get the oven ready. I need to find me some of these original emblems because the other one, they powder coated them black. I don't know why. But
gonna get this. I'm gonna fix this welded dry shaft so I can get that carbon dry shaft out of the truck. I'm gonna pull the dry shaft on the transmission up there. I need to keep it. But I told you the dry shaft don't go with it. Hey, get that truck out the way. We got stuff to do. Well, Ben's had uh, hauled it and do a good job on mini tubbing this truck. We need it to try to move on its own. Well, this thing is like tough. I knew. You knew what? Hell, I tried to give you a little time to get out the way. <laughs> I'll tell you what, to make it better, I got some jack sands and a jack. You ain't even got me no biscuit this morning. Huh? First time I've been here early. That's what I thought. Paul, you think it'd be better to cut it with that or this? Yeah, I'm gonna cut it with that. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it with that. Yeah, that's what I thought. When you get to work at 5 o'clock, you eat breakfast early. Yeah, I'm hungry. Shit, just stay like you are. The more hungry you get, the better lunch you're gonna buy me. Buy you? Yeah. Not Mexican. I mean, I'm she said a, not Mexican. I'm supplying a <laughs> lift, tools. We eat Mexican, we going to, we ain't going to this point that costs $40. Just, we Sure, we're not letting Shane Lee do the exhaust on this truck. This is the same man that just called me, what, 30 minutes ago, talking about he was waiting on me. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. yeah. I was there for that. It yep. took you so long, we started another project. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. Like this wasn't on the rack already. <coughs> yeah, this wasn't on the rack yesterday. Shane, we all took a boat, and you're not welding this. Are you going to check us if it's missing? Let's try it. Blake, how long has it been since he called you and told you he was waiting on you to get here? At least an hour and a half. Of what? At least. Of what? Since you called me and told me you was waiting on me to get here. I was gonna stop and get a pack of nabs and a Coke what is nabs? Peanut butter crackers. <laughs> we'll go down to the store and get you some. I got a truck and trailer hooked up. Hell, now that. Take a little scrap, it's out there. Will it make it? It's loud. I pull all the exhaust off. But I got a ticket. Don't go then. Just sit there and be hungry. Jamie and Blake went ahead and pulled the transmission out here. Uh, all they were trying to do was change the torque converter. We went from a tight torque converter uh, for radial to a looser converter for the Battle of the Bears race this weekend. Um, once they got it all out, where you see us filming here, uh, I got sent on a parts run, so they finished up the job while I was out. When I got back, Chris Jones was already here. It was time for us to go to lunch, so we get ready to load up head out and eat lunch and then get ready to test this afternoon. This is what I got a question about. 
Wait a minute. I worked my ass off. I pulled the transmission out. I drained the overflow. I let him use the motor. I worked on it yesterday. Made it work better than it's ever worked. Um, you put torque converter bolts in and tighten it. The least this man could do is buy something to eat. You saying I ain't done nothing? Yeah. I didn't say you didn't do Brady, nothing. Hey, you feel hey, me this today? And at the same time, man, I just got over the cold. So I can't eat that much. I'll give me a little small portion because I know you don't want to spend that much. You know who ought to buy us something? The man that tried to kill us. When we was riding home, bringing Jamie home, bringing him home to, to, to rest in peace, he was in the back. Look, was we not doing the whole time what we feel? Shit. We found slobber all over our necks. It's like a standing good. coffin spraying us in the back. Listen, that motherfucker standing coffin and farting like a motherfucker. <laughs> that wasn't fun. Shit! <laughs> You come and over hit. with a splatter every time you man, talk. Man, I'm telling you, every time you move, I'm like, man. So, so I think it's probably you farting. You no, no, me. no, player. Uh-uh. When we I got mean, back in the truck, and you had farting. I'm hungry. No, I didn't. Look, dude. Now, y'all knew I was sick when I had my head laying on a concrete bag in the trailer. <laughs> I was ready to go. Did shift a second when I felt it spin. I don't know because of the fuel or what.
the fuck the Ford motor in that son of a bitch. <laughs> You should have guessed. Hell right no, nah, you know you know that's LS. Right man. You know hey, that's LS. Listen, man. And turbo, sir. All day today. Two things you missing. Too. Hey. Actually, three things you missing. Turbo, Fuck LS. You. All day today I've been on your side. Don't 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 get me to turn against you now. <laughs> hey, he said Chris Joe said he should put a Ford motor in. So that man don't no joke get <laughs> Man, yeah, it's not gonna draw a little bit. Take all the way down the back. Right. And the, the people on the other side of the camera. Well, where? The like the the we we've been struggling with the front end. No matter how tight it is, it immediately tops out. So we put a tighter shock on it. And we tried it last night on for the radial converter and it worked better, but the converter's too tight. So now we're just trying to hit it with more and hit it with more. And Still lugging more. the motor. Right? Yeah, we need to get it to the point that it won't take it. If it keeps taking us adding it, we're gonna keep adding it. So that trouble for we put it in the day, didn't fix it. It's looser, but we don't. It's, it's helping a little bit, but it's still, it's still dropping. It's still dropping now. But you understand when that thing is wheeling and it's kind of trying to spin a tire and the motor RPM, the motor's climbing. Now it's almost like it's lugging it. It's kind of holding it down. So. Motor ain't big enough. Good, you got one coming. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. What is I got my. Uh, uh, so this one is ready. Just let it finish cooling. I'll make one of those scrappy and see if I can make it any better. Try. Hey. Do a little test and tuning with OJ. Got the owner here, and I guess I'm the slave driver gonna drive it right. anyway. Uh, so what you have me to do today, master? I mean, you got the whip, or what, what we nah, doing? We ain't gonna have no whip. Uh, we're, we're gonna get it tuned in for the weekend. You got a drag inside there? All right, um, new motor, new combination. Uh, I think it's gonna be uh, really, really, really good. Uh, we got new tires on because I think I ran the same ones on there for the whole season. Yeah. But, new tire, uh, new motor. So I think it's gonna do good. Uh, hopefully we make some uh, good hits. And we got the tuner out here, uh, Josh, and then Jamie thinks he knows everything. He's here, so. Um, now this is a little different setup than you've had, you were driving before, right? Yeah, uh, it is definitely. Uh, it was small block forward, nitrous. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, a little bit to get used to. Uh, I don't know how much power a Chevrolet motor can make, but I, I guess it's gonna be all right. We hope. We hope. I hope we, uh, we do a good, get I hope we get everything, all the bugs, everything worked out of tonight. Uh, we gotta do a cruise, I think it's for a 20 mile cruise uh, Saturday before the, uh, the show starts. And you know, I think we're gonna be pretty good. You know, um, if we get the bugs worked out of it, it's gonna be a good showing. I think a lot of people are gonna be surprised on what the truck can do. But, Which I don't know, the team may be off and not letting it get on a two step harder. Make more power. That's on 4500. Is where I had it. Because when it was before, it was just. Hopefully, it recorded that. 
Five hundred pound streetcar trick, one twenty five sixty two. You got five glass front cap, five glass door. Oh, I forgot. That's right. And lighter. Bring any quicker. You better go back up for another pass. Yeah, I'm gonna go up for another one. It took you oh. for a ride on that last pass, didn't it? Yeah. Hopefully, it, hopefully it stays down this time, man. I'm trying to sixty foot it. That's what I'm gonna have to do to outrun some of these guys. Is sixty foot it. Get the sixty foot down, huh? Like sixty foot it. Shit, they're gonna be in trouble. A lot of them gonna be in trouble. Hey, Nothing's under there. Hey, you got any truck? I was stuck with a pink guy. What's up guys, how are y'all? All right. So y'all got the new Uncle Sam out here, huh? The new and improved. What do you think about it? It looks good, man, it looks good. It's uh... Black. It's black, it sure Back and black. Well, it's been a little while. How long How long's it been down? Oh, uh, me and Todd McCutcheon looked on the picture and we started on it in June, the middle of June. So about, what, five or six months? Five or six months, yeah. Todd put uh, new quarters on it, painted it, uh, redid the firewall, we put fiberglass fenders on it, headlights, grill. Uh, the hood was already on it. We had to get it fitted again, but uh, we put Ronnie and Justin's 580 nitrous motor in there, so I'm still trying to learn how to turn switches on, turn bottles on. I, I'm used to a turbo where you just let a button go. Been a little while, huh? Uh, yes, it has, it has. Well, uh, we're just turning the gas on a little bit. All it's got is a 250 plate. We're gonna try to run that race this weekend and uh, I don't know, between me and Ronnie and Todd and Melanie, working our butts off. But I think it paid off, you think? Yeah, it looks good, man. car past Chevy too. So is this y'all's first night out testing? Or? Well, we came down and just did some motor passes. Uh, went to Holly and then we uh, did one gas pass with me and Ronnie. When I, when I say gas, I'm talking about 125 shots for just like half the track. Right. And uh, it's getting there. It's getting there. Uh, we just stepped it up just now, just a little bit, just to see what it'll hold. It seems to drive fine. You know, the little car does really good. Uh, ain't really a lot changed to it. Just a uh, different motor and stuff. The suspension's all the same. And, uh, really, I guess really that's it. The same wheels, same driver. I got you. <laughs> well, I'm glad to see it back out, guys, and uh, good luck testing tonight and this weekend. We'll see y'all out there for sure. Okay. All right. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. Yeah, like, click over there. It should be like 13, 13 and a half. I may have made a little extra. What y'all do different? You got two brains that don't think alike. Jamie wants to change about eight different things. At one time. At one time. And we can't do that. Did the eight things get changed or did one thing? I ain't get sure. I think I got it down to about four. So like I split it in half at least. <laughs> like I got him to put some stuff back. I ain't sure if I caught it all. Oh boy. Alright. Lord. Let's go see what it I does. I mean if I'd left it to him, we'd have been we'd have had radios on it. The shocks would have been all tightened down. 
more power in it. I don't even know what the hell he was trying to say while I was yeah. He just got, I can't, I can't deal with him sometimes. Alright, well let's, let's go see what it does. Oh shit. Alright, I'll see you up there. that's gonna be it for the night um, I'm about to head out I know some of these other guys are gonna be testing for a little while longer um, but we're gonna head out for the night uh, y'all stick around we're gonna put out another video for the actual race on Saturday um, should be good it's supposed to be ten thousand dollar shootout uh, with 32 small tire cars true street is supposed to be 2,500 to win I don't know what the car count supposed to be on that but uh, should be a good race good day um, but we'll see y'all then.